I'm gonna show you five tools you've never seen before. We're here at AWFS, the largest woodworking show in North America. Let's go. All right, I'm with Miss Becky Hope yep. Uh, yep. with Hoffman yep. Joinery Systems. Yes. She's gonna give us a demo on a machine that makes making frames and other joinery much easier, faster, simpler. Yep. It's all around cool. Very strong too. Easy way we do this is with our keys. Once you figure out how your size that you need. Like you can see on our keyboard right here, we have the different lengths. This is the main one, this is the 5 8 This is just the one that most people use. That's how you set your depth. You use your key, set it right here, you line it up, and you lock it down. And now you can see right here, that acts as a stop. So that's how it's gonna come up and route from the bottom. You move this plate and you set it up here, you're gonna have a mirror image. So it's gonna cut at the same spot. I'm lining it up right here, I'm locking it down, and now I'm ready to go. And the keys, they're tapered, so they go down in it, just like the rounded end goes down, and you just hammer it in there. And then there's your angle. And this is, has no glue in it, and you can see how strong it is, like I'm pulling it, and it pulls it real nice and tight. You said you could do doubles? Yeah, just like this one. You would make two different passes, and that's why, see these double rulers on here? Yeah. This one also has a digital, so that helps you line up like you would know this one right here. This is where you're doing that pass. You can do your use your digital, or you can even use your ruler, and after you make both of those passes for the next one, then you would line it up and do your next pass. Gotcha. That's what's good about the digital one, if you have multiple passes. You said this new matting unit, how much is the price point on it? This one runs you about 5300 and that is with the digital, um, the digital read and the pneumatic. And then if you jump down over here to um, a manual one, you're, you're looking at about 3900 and that one also has a digital read. We have them without the digital read. I see that we've got different joinery methods here over there, they're on like keys, basically on the miters. And you said we could also do butt joints with it? Yeah, you can. This one we done with a pen, but you would want to just do with the pencil mark. We also have different plates. If you're going to do um, butt joints, you could have a flat plate if you had a bigger piece if you want, but this one would still butt up against it. And you would just use your mark and your center line right here. That would help you line it up. This has been ripped. So it's right here and it, it you can't even tell. It looks oh, like it okay. was just put in the middle, but so it was actually, panels. yep, you can. Or just sure can. Design. And and we also offer wood keys so that if you wanted to do it for a design, this one is done for both. They wanted it. Some people um cabinet doors right. like the little bow tie, the look of it. Yeah. And some people don't want it to show. They just want it because of how strong it is. Yeah. We also have quite a few frame builders that they like it because when they ship them, they can ship them not assembled. Yeah, flat uh, yeah. and then they can just hammer them in. So it's awesome. it's really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're here with Kingston from Rippet Rip it Fence, yep, rip and they have an automated rip fence for your table saw. So it's got a keypad, it's just a regular fence in a lot of ways, but with a keypad and a motor, and you type in on the keypad to, uh, to move it over into place. So say you want to cut like 24 inches, you type 24, move, goes in, locks into place. As far as like calibrating to know like what's zero and where the blade is at, you can automatically calibrate by typing auto home and then it'll go and move towards the blade and feel the force back from the blade and know that that's zero. Oh, that's cool. And then you can also manually calibrate as well. What table saws would this fit on? Pretty much any table saw, especially if you have a Bisa Meyer, you're already used to the uh, angled aluminum or iron. If you take off the angle, you take off the rail and then you put on this. Uh, this assembly. So what we're selling is the fence plus the assembly of the rail and everything. Is this a saw stop? It's all now. It is. Yeah. Okay. Is it just one size fits all, or how's it work? Okay. So we have different standard lengths that we're planning on selling. Theoretically, you can just cut it and use any length. So, but we have 52 inch is probably the minimum, and then we can go from there. And we're kind of waiting to hear from people as far as like what the most common lengths are but we can do any length of rail. Will it also work left side of the blade or only right? Yes, it will work on the left side of the blade. Okay. You just tap left on the settings and then everything's reversed and it moves to the left. Nice. I see you, you got a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, I just launched. Yeah, today. Yeah. Really? Just launched today. So we're trying to get to 150 as quickly oh, nice. as possible. That's your goal, 150? Yeah, we want to get above that. Right. There's 
a lot of other things like people have asked for different features right we want to add some of those so like, you have you possibly could have more features coming to this yeah like like cut lists like you could import oh, cut lists. Cool. so you don't have to like type it in you have a design for like a cabinet or something and you just send that off and then all your cuts are imported into the fence and you just tap on it and it moves there and you cut your you know whatever you're cutting and that's it and i'm assuming this is dust resistant oh yeah <laughs> It's been through the ringer. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. it. This is Mr. Alex from Invis by Lamello with a very cool joinery system I've never seen before. Give us a demonstration. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, we have an invisible detachable joiner, which means that we have a screw that you can turn with a screwdriver that looks a little bit different. And if you look at that one, how it's turning so you open and close it in the same way you would do it with a screwdriver this is what the screw looks like and it's inserted into the wood so that on the other side you just have a receptacle thread if you put these two things together they're hard but joined together like for a stair rail you can release it again same thing here I have two screws that I use put a panel onto cabinet work I could do a, a stair rail I could do a leg to a table you said uh, we was talking about the dowel kit you can do this with dowel joinery basically or it's it has to be dowel accurate so these two pieces have to just match and cut together so that it can be fastened and released again and we have a complete kit that has everything that you need as a starter kit here at the show for $5.94. Usually at the retail is about $50 more. It comes with a jig, comes with the drill, comes with the mini mag, which fastens and loosens these, and it comes with 20 joiners in the kit, all in a sustainer kit. Awesome. Where, where can we find these at? Best way is to go to our website. That's www.swissinvis.com. Yes. Okay. Mr. Okay. Alex, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much. Very cool. Thanks for stopping by. I'm here with Mr. Sheldon Smith. His tool company is called Outlaw Tool Company, so we had to stop and say hello, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, absolutely. So this is your system you invented on cutting crown molding, right? Yes. Can you show me how it works? Yeah, absolutely. It's a three-step system, very simple. It's not only the best teacher, but the best, most accurate cutting system. So all you have to do is three simple steps. When Whichever crown molding you have, spring angle crown molding is 30 uh 52 45 and 38 so we have three different jigs we have a 52 a 45 and a 38 that does it for you once you get the right jig in the saw the second step is to measure your corner we have a patented protractor it's the only one ever invented where the scale has been manipulated to speak the same language as your saw instead of a 360 degree language right so it makes it real simple so you just measure the corner divide by two that's your saw setting. The third step is we have an actually a patented picture system that shows you how everything sets up so you don't have to think upside down and backwards. And once you get to the third step, you're right here. Then the patented system that only makes you perfect. The only system ever where you don't move the saw. Instead of moving the saw, you reverse the jig, reverse the molding, and make a perfect mirror image cut every single time. So it's the only system that makes you perfect automatically without trying. We also have a special roller for your long molding that holds you up in place so everything's stable in both directions without having to readjust. So that's how our system keeps everything stable and makes all your cuts perfect. So if somebody wanted to check this out, where they find it at? You can get it at outlawtoolco.com. That's the only place we're not in stores because it has to be demonstrated. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. Thank you so Appreciate much. You. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm here with Steve with RZ Mask, and you all have a brand new mask that's launching today. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We call it the M3. The M3. So I have the M2 right now. Okay. What's different? Well, what's different about this one here is we actually took the main part of the mask and we actually designed three different straps to wear it. We have a ear loop strap, neck strap, and a two strap. So this way you can actually have one mask, wear it three different ways. And what's really, really cool, what we like about this too, is that no more replacing your valves. This is the filter replacement. It's got a four snap 
little uh, rivet system, so you can take these in and out of your mask in about 15 seconds. And also, another really cool uh, attribute of it, this thing here, fit tested, typically you gotta get 100 to pass. This reached uh, scores up to 800 on oh, wow. parts of the fit test. It comes with uh, the mask, three straps, the filter replacement, and a pretty cool little uh, belt bag. Can you just tell me if we don't have to replace these uh, valve things anymore? Nope, nope, those days are long gone. So this, uh, you buy the filter, and when you replace it, you just attach it with the rivets and away you go. Fast. And this here is talking about fit factor you was talking about just a minute ago? Yep, this is the fit factor on it. And uh, basically, you know, it's just, it, it exceeds fit, fit, fit testing about, you know, three times on average. And then what's really cool is we have over 12 international U.S. patents on this mask. Very yep. cool. Thank you. I'll be checking this out. Where can awesome. we get this at? RZMask.com? RZMask.com. Thank you. Yep, thank you. I have some really cool tools to show you that I saw at AWFS Fair coming soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.